So this is the Vigo Tech VG-17X 20 watt diode laser. That's quite a mouthful, isn't it? Regular viewers of the channel will know that I bought this from Banggood and we've done a fair few things with it. We've done things like draw copper ink and cut out this and that and make a, a Doctor Who TARDIS and just loads of things with it. It's been really good and it's done that job. But when I turned it on this morning, although everything moved and the laser light lit up, uh, I mean, it wouldn't even burn through a piece of tissue paper. It was just ridiculous, hey? And of course, when something like that happens, your mind immediately goes to the software, I've got the settings right, and then it goes to the hardware, is the module broken? And that's exactly what I thought. And I was thinking, oh, I've got to buy a new module because that module there is not cheap. Well, in relative things, I and mean, I paid 150 quid for that, and I think the module is about 70 quid or something. So, it's not cheap, to be honest, and I was a bit, oof, that's a pain. And then something clicked. Before this, I used to have a CO2 laser, a 20-watt a water-cooled CO2 laser that equally died a death, and it was a chunky old beast. I mean, it did an awesome job. But it needed water, it needed pumps, and it needed its own desk and lots of space. And really, we're kind of running out of space, so we bought this to give it a go, see how it would do as a replacement for the CO2 laser for what we wanted it for. But the thing is with CO2 lasers is they burn. These burn, so everything gets dirty. And you have to clean it. You have to clean the mirrors and you have to clean the lenses. And I thought, well, I wonder... I wonder if that is just a dirty lens. Now, these modules come like this, and that is called the collator lens, or the focusing lens. It's not the actual diode lens, it's a little screw-in bit that's either plastic or glass. And I unscrewed that and peered through it, and sure enough, that lens was dirty. And it's also cracked. So cleaning it wasn't really an option. I could have cleaned it with acetone to get some of the smoke off of it, but because of the crack, it meant replacing that. These things are universal. You can buy them on eBay, you can buy them on Amazon. They're about anywhere between six and eight pounds for either a plastic one or a glass one. And they're universal across the fitting and across a whole range of lasers. So I had a 20 watt one, which I then just put in there. Actually, it was uh, five watts to 20 watts as the, the rating of the laser uh, power input, which is how these Chinese things are rated. So all I did was get hold of a six pound version of that and screw it back in there. And my laser was saved. So I thought I'd share that tip with you because when I was researching this, I came across a lot of people who'd had a very similar problem and they were buying new modules and replacing the module. And I thought, well, that'll save an awful lot of money. So these things, remember, that lens is in the path of the smoke of what it is you're cutting. So that smoke goes up into the lens and over a period of time, that lens will get dirty. So you can unscrew it and clean it with a cotton bud or some acetone. But it also gets hot. So if the lens cracks, then you can replace the whole kilometer, the whole focusing lens as a unit like that for six to eight pounds. And that'll save you an awful lot more money and time and trouble than having to replace the entire laser unit. So I thought that was worth sharing. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.